Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and welcome to another day in Minecraft. Some episodes ago, I finished the farms on the nether side of my base. Now it's time to connect the overworld locations with the nether transport system. I decided to go with a nice road at about Y level 85. There will be sections through open space, but also inside netherrack. As there are five different nether biomes, I came up with just as many block schemes. Through open space it will be glass in a distinctive color, while underground there is a bit more diversity. So let's have a look. Right here outside the portal we are in a soul sand valley and I decided to go with a yellowish color scheme, uh, which I think uh, works well with this uh, brownish texture. Uh, so of course we have the yellow gloss and then once we go underground we have this uh, sandstone uh, palette here and uh, here on the bottom I will need to add additional slabs because of course the glass is spawn proof, the normal blocks are not. That's the first one so let's have a look at the basalt deltas which is over here and uh, as this is mostly uh, gray and black the obvious color choice is white uh, with um, um, quartz and at the bottom uh, a bit of uh, diorite. Uh, I think which works quite well as you have all these uh, ash flakes flowing floating around so uh, um, this could this looks like uh, ashes on the floor. Here for the standard netherwest I went with a bluish uh, color scheme which turns a bit uh, turquoise uh, when it gets uh, underground. Uh, but I think that's a nice uh, contrast to the uh, reddish color there. And this gives us a use for uh, all our drops from our guardian farm. This leaves the two forest biomes. So here is the crimson one. And this also looks like uh, yellow glass, but in fact it's lime green. And then we can, of course, go with the uh, warped uh, wood types. And then below, as we don't have wooden uh, walls, I decided to go with uh, trapdoors uh, with a bit of uh, acacia behind for contrast. And finally, the warped forest uh, biome or color choice the red glass uh, blends in completely into the, the reddish wall here. And then of course inside we also have a lot of uh, reds. And uh, as you can see, I tried uh, two different things. I think that the bricks, the stone bricks work well for the floor but not so much uh, in the wall, it is, it is just too much uh, contrast. I think uh, this uh, 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 warped or crimson, uh, what is it called? This nether ward block does nicely. And uh, here we also can see uh, we have the red nether brick variant. And this means uh, we probably need a bit more nether ward than we currently have. So with this outlook, um, I can see that we need a few more farms to gather resources. So that will uh, cover us uh, the next few episodes to get everything together. And then I can build the tunnels on the back burner. But now, uh, today I want to create the hub itself. 
I have not yet fully fleshed out the design for it, uh, but we will come to that. Initially, I intended to have the uh, nether hub over there, uh, a bit towards uh, our uh, main area, but uh, moving a portal on the nether side, uh, that's just not as easy as moving it in the overworld, as in the overworld, you can move it uh, around a bit and it will link to the same portal on the nether side, but here moving the portal only by 10 blocks will move it in the overworld uh, 80 blocks and that of course will then um, get a new portal spawn and of course the way over there is just a bit more than 10 blocks so we will uh, do it uh, over here um, and uh, another uh, plus thing is that uh, as I'm quite building with a bit of glass, this area here is a bit more protected uh, from uh, ghosts, which was a uh, worry that I had over there. So we will, over there it would have been nice and open uh, floating above the ground, but here it's a bit more buried into the, the back side here, which we will uh, um, take out a bit. Uh, but uh, in the end, I think we will have uh, uh, two open sides and, um, and one that is uh, covered up uh, here into the netherrack. But let's roll a time lapse of building this up the nether tunnels are quite high in order to also allow flying through at least i hope this works but this also means that the hub itself has to be at least as high what i envisioned was a flying saucer with a blackstone roof and glass floor on the inside, everything should be spawn-proof so that there are no piglins spawning and you can travel through the nether from one overworld portal to the next without your golden trousers. Having the hub with a bulging metal section, like you would expect from an UFO, would create a very large section that needs spawn-proofing and I imagine it would look a bit awkward on the sides where the tunnel connects. Therefore, I decided to have the walls more straight up, similar to the ships from Independence Day. One challenge was to make it look menacing, at the same time easy to look at from the outside. Therefore, I choose a gradient technique from a light black polished blackstone at the bottom to black concrete at the top. Finally, I added a few spikes around the open area. I might need to add a few more once I dug out more of the nether rack towards the front. The way up is through the warped vines and downward you can just drop on the hay bales. I moved the portal up as well and it wraps nicely around the inner section. Of course I need to be careful to step out of it in the right direction. I also managed to install an abduction beam going through the middle. To proceed with the tunnels I will need a nice farm at some point. Then a flower farm for the different glass colors, the nether ward farm for the red bricks and either an improved emerald farm or a sand dew put to get all the glass. But that is for the next few episodes. As a final look at the outside, I say goodbye for now.